Hey, CrossFit winners, Bill. Uh, I will be taking, I'll be doing the notes for Thursday this week. I just want to make a plug real quick. If you haven't, if you're out there watching these videos and you haven't jumped in on Zoom, please do try to make one of those Zoom classes. It is a lot more um, entertaining and uh, fun than you probably expect. If you don't know how to, please reach out to one of the coaches or a friend that has been on Zoom and uh, try to get in contact with them in order to get in those classes. Uh, but yeah, I just want to make that plug. So if you have been into one, please do try to get into one. Uh, but for today, what we have is a quick warm up. We're going to spend about 20 minutes on that warm up. During that warm up, make sure that you're warming up your shoulders, your large muscle groups, and your legs. Uh, make sure you're getting below 90 a couple times for these squats. Um, and then get that heart rate uh, elevated just a little bit to make sure that you're ready for the strength um, portion of the workout and then the workout as well. All right, so for that strength today, what we have is a back squat and bend over row uh, superset. Start off with those back squats. We're gonna do five sets of three. And uh, if you don't have a heavy weight, we're gonna try to, if you have a heavy weight, we're gonna do five sets of three. If you don't have a heavy weight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one, set, one tempo squat and then two regular squats. A tempo is gonna be three seconds descent and then a two second pause and then uh, explode out of the bottom and then a one second pause before you go into the next one. And then the bend over row is gonna be five by 10. Um, for whatever variation you have. And then, so to dem demonstrate these back squats, what we can do is if you don't have a barbell, um, say we can take a dumbbell or a plate, and we can take this onto our back here. Um, this is for the tempo squat. So we're gonna adjust our feet about shoulder width apart. Hips are gonna go back and then down. So we're gonna send those hips back. A three second set, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. A two second pause at the bottom, 1,000, 2,000. Explode out to the top. Extend the hip and then one second pause before we go back into the next two, which are just regular back squats for our sets. All right. And then we're going to set that with some bent over rows. Um, and we can use dumbbells, kettlebells, a plate, sandbag, um, a barbell if you have one. I'm going to demonstrate a dumbbell because that's, I think, that's what the majority of us have. So we can do single or double. So if we're going to do here, we're going to have our feet. Drifts right underneath their hips. We're gonna keep those hips straight back, nice flat back here. Dumbbells hanging in front of us. We're gonna pull those elbows back to us. Try to get those dumbbells about the, uh, to our chest range. Keep our head in a neutral position so we have a straight spine. And we're gonna lower back down at the bottom. And we're gonna pull those dumbbells back up, keep those el elbows going straight back every time. If you only have one, that's fine. Just keep that arm down there. Pull. You're gonna do 10 on one arm, switch and then do 10 on the other arm, all right? So if you guys do have some plates, I just wanna demo this. If you do have some plates, same exact thing here. Bend over, plate hanging in front of us, pulling that plate all the way to our chest, and then releasing, pulling the arm all the way to our chest, or pulling the plate all the way to our chest, and releasing here, all right? That's for the, that's for the bent over rows, all right? So then we're gonna do five sets, three, and then 10. And the next thing we have for that wad, um, is an eight minute AMRAP, as many reps or rounds as possible. We're starting off with five double dumbbell thrusters, 10 weighted sit-ups, and then five push-ups. If you're doing the general fitness, we're just doing regular sit-ups and elevated push-ups. All right, so for these double dumbbell thrusters, you're gonna get two dumbbells, you're gonna get them in that front rack position, feet are gonna be shoulder width apart for that squat, you're gonna go down to the bottom of the squat, keeping those elbows nice and high, and then whenever we come up to the top, we're gonna those hips and drive those dumbbells overhead and come right back down and then the next squat. Make sure we get below 90 every time and driving those dumbbells overhead. All right. For the weighted sit-ups, we can utilize a plate, a kettlebell, a dumbbell again, whatever we may have, but it's gonna be a weight 10 to 20 pounds here. Try to keep it relatively light. We're gonna get into a good setup, get that weight above our head we're gonna to touch the ground above our head. When we come up, we're gonna get this weight and we're gonna to touch our toes with whatever weight that we have. If it's a kettlebell, it's a kettlebell. We're gonna hold the same thing. 10 to 20 pounds still, touch the ground in front of us, or we uh, touch the ground above our head and then touching our feet with that weight. All right, if you don't have, if you're doing the general fitness or you don't have any weight, it's fine, just do regular sit-ups. Still touching the ground, feet to, uh, touching together. Touch the ground above our head, coming up, touching our toes. All right, feel the very good. For push ups, hands about shoulder width apart, nice 
straight body here, rigid from head to toe, coming all the way down below 90, and coming full extension, and repeating that. If you're doing, if you need to, you can do elevated, so if you have something, you can put them off the ground, a chair, a box, any way to get a bench, any way to get elevated. Same exact thing here, get those toes, get into those toes, nice straight body from heel to head, and come down, touch, and then push out of there. We'll just do some elevated push-ups for that workout. All right, so it's 5, 10, 15 for an eight minute. Nice quick, try to keep that uh, heart rate up. So make sure you try to keep those reps uh, pretty close to unbroken if you can, and try to push for that eight minutes. We're looking for like seven to 10 rounds um, for that workout. All right, and enjoy.